People who knew murderers, when did you know something was off? My bio dad ended up murdering my stepmom. Everyone in my family. My mom and two older brothers definitely knew that something was up. He had severe anger issues and was very abusive. Some of the earlier memories I have are of him choking one of my brothers. He even almost choked my mom to death a couple of times. Obviously my mom was smart and divorced him as he didn't want to see him kill my brothers. Years later I come home from school and my mom and stepdad take us all to the side and tell us he shot our stepmom and was currently in jail. None of us were surprised. If anything I was just so grateful my mom left him. It's so strange that I am directly related to a murderer. The murderer I know was more of an acquaintance or casual friend. He lived down the hall from me and we hung out sometimes but not like just the two of us. Still, we'd chill at each other's place regularly. I passed him one day in the stairwell and I said hi. He said hi back but called me by the wrong name. He was really distracted and kind of awkward. He didn't make eye contact and kept moving. I remember thinking maybe we we don't know each other as well as I thought. Later he was playing Nintendo, yep. My N64 this was a while ago, with my roommate when I came home. He apologized and said his mind was elsewhere. A couple days later there are cops all over the building. Interviewing people and searching his place. They'd found the guy's roommate with a bullet in the back of his head in an abandoned lot across town. The next day he confessed. Never. He was a seemingly happy kid who brought a backpack full of, probably stolen, SNES games over to my place pretty regularly. The last time I posted this. I said he killed another teen in a drug-related turf war. I looked up his case afterwards and it was actually two. A great uncle shot one of my great great uncles for trying to fondle, or rape, another family member. Turns out everybody was tired of his shit. So the killing was never reported. Nobody quite knows where the body is buried. But my guess is that he threw it into the river, we were a dictatorship at the time. So seeing bodies flushed down the river was not uncommon. Had an employee on my work crew. Acted strange and wouldn't listen to direction. Had goofy huge sideburns. Ended up going to jail for a short time. When he got out he shot his GF and her parents. I never suspected a thing. She was the nicest woman. I even let her babysit my cousin when I had custody of him for a little while. She was my neighbor, couple houses down, and everyone loved her. She grew gigantic pumpkins, was always outside, so everyone interacted with her a lot. I moved away and a few years later and was shocked to hear everything from my family and friends who still loved in the area. The story. She was married to a man. I knew him from my time living there too. One day. He was just gone. She was all beaten up. She said he beat her up, we always suspected this happened before this incident, and had left her because he got a woman pregnant a few towns over. We never heard from him again, but didn't really have a reason to. She would mention every once in a while that he was still harassing her and was even beat up on another occasion after his disappearance. He was self-employed and didn't really have any family. No one suspected anything. Three years later she was dating another man. While dating this man. The police had been investigating her for stealing money from the grocery store she worked at. They went to the boyfriend's cabin. Where they both were. To arrest her. She came to the door. Said okay. Let me go put on some clothes. The police waited at the door. I obviously wasn't here for this part. So this is what I hear. The police then hear two gunshots. They run inside and she had poured gasoline and set the house on fire then shot her dog then herself. It took some time to get the house fire under control. Once they did, and began investigating, they found another body in the basement that didn't die in the fire. But several days earlier, the body in the basement was her boyfriend. Then, they began investigating further, and found a blue 55-gallon drum in her backyard that contained her husband. So, she killed two people and her dog, and all she was suspected of was stealing from the grocery store. Edited to clarify that the body in the basement was the boyfriend and to correct the time frame between the husband's disappearance and her dating the boyfriend. I fact checked with the news article. I was way off on the time frame originally. Many have asked for the link to a news article. This one is long. But here it is. I worked at a box store about 20 years ago. A guy the first worked with was always off. And would give away pocket knives to other employees. One day he came in with scratches all over his face, he had raped and murdered a disabled girl the day before. 
using a pocket knife he had given our co-worker later that day. Edit. In prison until 2051. I moved to a new town when I was 19 and was making new friends at my new job. I met this girl at work and she invited me over to hang out with her and her best friend. I went and the best friend's boyfriend was there and the vibes were way off. I was uncomfortable. He was cold and just seemed angry for no reason. They had mentioned to me before he got there that he was always controlling and had hit the girl before. Turns out controlling was an understatement. She came home one day and he was digging a hole in the backyard and she asked what he was doing and he replied, digging your grave. He hit her, said if he can't have her, nobody could have her, all of that. So eventually she left him and had to get a restraining order and everything. He somehow persuaded her to get in a car with him on her work break and they went missing for a few days. Turns out he stabbed her to death, threw her in a river and killed himself. I met the girl only a few times and him only the once but the face that I was in such close proximity to someone capable of that gives me chills. She was so young, it was really sad. Honestly, this girl I went to school with killed two kids she babysat and their mother. Before that, I would have told you she was one of the calmest coolest people in our school. Would have never suspected her to do something like that. The first time I met him. Jose was a friend of my ex and something immediately seemed off. He was sneaky, always lying and cheating, but not good at it cause he was dumb. And a total narcissist as well. I told my ex to keep his distance. That Jose would only get him into some shit. Not only did he set my ex up to be robbed. Jose snitched on a bunch of other people. And finally snapped on stranger in a fit of road, roid rage and stabbed him. The guy he killed was fairly young and a good kid just in the wrong place at the time. I hope that asshole rots in prison. Edited to clear up any confusion. When he said there was a teenager, his mother and his stepfather lived around the corner from me. My mother knew them better than myself, but we all thought they were lovely. A couple of years ago, the son went to the hospital several times asking for help. He claimed he had voices telling him to kill his stepfather. But each time he went he was released and told to come back, they would give an appointment. A few weeks later during a small argument he stabbed his stepfather to death in the front garden. He turned himself in the next day. And wasn't convicted as he sought help before it happened. Instead, he got the treatment he needed. Edit. I see a lot of people wondering if it might have been a defense, planned murder. It wasn't. The way he was killed. And how the son acted after removed any doubt. There was a kid I went to high school with who always gave me the creeps. We had a lot of mutual friends so we always ended up hanging out and it always made me feel really uncomfortable. Our senior year he got suspended for like a week because someone had found and turned in a hit list he had made. No one really took it too seriously. About three years after we graduated he was in the news for murdering a man in our town that he barely knew. He told the police that he held the man's eyes open so he could watch his life leave his body. Editing for spelling and adding to this because I remembered that I actually knew a second murderer. I am related to someone who attempted to murder his wife by stabbing her in the back several times with a butter knife when she found out he was gay and then many years later stabbed his partner to death after they broke up. I didn't. He was the sweetest, kindest, gentle giant kind of guy. Kind of a weirdo, but still a great guy overall. I remember once that he shed a tear just by talking about his kid because he was so filled with emotion from having him in his life. He turned out to kill his wife, kidnap his child, start the longest Amber Alert in the history of Canada. As he tried escaping to a different province he killed another man to steal his car. I'm still unsure today if I should have seen anything at any point. It comes to haunt my nightmares from time to time. Kid I went to school with from 5th to 8th grade. He was always a dick. Typical class clown but with a mean streak. When we hit middle school he was always making comments about, to girls that were incredibly inappropriate. I never liked him and hated being around him. He ended up getting into meth and shot his mom and dad in their sleep while high. His mom died and his dad survived but was severely injured. Last I heard he was crying crocodile tears saying he regrets everything and wants another chance. But knowing him, it's total bullshit. He deserves to rot. Edit. Should probably add he shot his parents when he was in his later years of high school. I only went to school with him from 5th to 8th because I changed schools.
I've worked with three murderers in my job role supporting people with disabilities. All three had varying degrees of learning disabilities. And honestly, only for one of them did I know something was up. He worked out a plea deal as his disability meant that he appeared to lack men's rea and fitness to plead. It was as I was taking him home after all of the investigation was over. He turned to me and said, don't tell my wife about this. It was at that exact moment I knew he knew what he'd done. The other two incidents. One was so traumatized by what she'd done. That she never recovered. She'd been in prison for 25 years and was broken when she came out. The last was a couple. Another vulnerable adult had gone missing. They even helped with the search teams. They were in bits. Really concerned for the welfare of their friend. Went on TV for an appeal for her to come home. She was under their bed the whole time. Edits. Tried to clarify the wording a bit. I wrote it a bit too hastily and caused some confusion below. Interesting that no one has asked about the second one. She was a literal axe murderer. She came home one day and found that her father had murdered her mother. She grabbed a nearby woodcutting axe and beheaded him. She got out early due to the mitigating circumstances and time served. She developed terrible schizophrenia after that. Hence my involvement upon her release. She ended up going into a secure mental health unit as she couldn't cope on the outside. She was badly institutionalized. Not my experience, but my grandmother's. She got pregnant at 15 by my grandfather and had to get married, 1960s. He was extremely abusive and my grandmother went to the police multiple times because she felt like he would wind up killing someone. But they just didn't take it seriously and ignored her. He later went on to strangle and beat a 14-year-old girl to death with a baseball bat just a couple years later. Edit. I am editing to include this because I've seen a couple people asking, speculating. But my grandmother did get away from him, they had been separated when this happened, and he was put in prison. But I do know he got out and from what I was told. It was on insanity? I'm not 100% on the details of his release as he is a pretty taboo topic. But he finally died in 2014. Though I didn't find that out until a year later. I had only ever met him once. And thank you guys for your words. I wasn't expecting this to get the attention it did so I'm still going through comments. It probably doesn't actually count but I want to tell someone about this anyway. We, partner and I, had some neighbors move in across the street. A young couple in their 30s. The guy would come over almost every day to chat with my partner. My partner told me he would say things about being raped by his brother as a kid and that people didn't care about him. His wife was weird. She just sat on the porch not talking to anyone or doing anything. Just. Sitting there. All I knew about her was she didn't have custody of her kids. A few months ago. Our street was filled with cop cars and ambulances. Being the nosy cunts we are we just watched out the window for hours as cops busted down the door. Fucked with the couple's lawnmower. And eventually we watched as two body bags were loaded up into a vehicle right in front of our house. Turned out they'd killed themselves. Or I guess one killed both of them with consent. They turned the lawnmower on in their house and died from the fumes. Their dog died. Two. My partner and I felt so bad for them because the landlord dumped their stuff into the street the day after and only one person came by grieving. We also felt angry at them for killing their dog. I tried finding the obituaries but couldn't. Months after this happened, I was on Reddit and saw a video, unrelated, of a man beating the shit out of a registered sex offender who was talking to his daughter. I went to Family Watchdog just to see. And guess whose mugshot came up? It was her. The wife. And she had a different last name than I thought she did. So I googled her name to see if she got an obituary. She did. There was also a news article about how she and her ex-husband raped all three of their own kids and only spent four years in jail. The man who did it with her is still out there somewhere. I knew she was weird but. Damn. We didn't feel as bad for them anymore. So yeah. That was an emotional roller coaster. Edit. Forgot to add details. Edit 2. Someone twisted something I said so I want to add. Of course I still feel bad that the guy went through what he did but he knowingly married a child rapist and killed his own dog. Edit 3. I can't believe how much this post blew up. Edit 4. This is the only proof I have. I didn't know how they died at first so I posted on my city subreddit asking if anyone knew. It was a long shot but someone actually did message me. Saying their dad owned a business nearby and heard. I also included a screen of me messaging my friend about it with a timestamp. 
I went through primary and high school with a guy in the year below me who seemed a little distant. We lived near each other and caught the bus from the same stop. He was a bit of a bully but it was something more. Like you could tell he wasn't a bully because he was hurting inside or because he felt threatened in some way. He was a bully because he did what he wanted to do and didn't realize that it hurt other people. Like the kind of kid who enjoyed pulling wings off flies. Not long after I left my hometown I heard that he had been charged with the murder of a two-year-old. Apparently his girlfriend at the time left her daughter with him for an hour or so while she ran an errand. He couldn't deal with the toddler crying anymore so he beat her. He caused severe internal bleeding and she died in hospital not long after. He would have been around 22 when he did it. He was sentenced to 36 years with a non-parole period of 27 years. Edit. This happened in Australia around 2014. My dad went to medical school with Harold Shipman. He said that we he was always a bit off. But couldn't inquire quite put his finger on it. However. He also said he's not quite sure how much he's reading into it after the fact. Memories are a tricky thing. And a revelation like this can color them in many different ways. Edit. It hits 3K and I finally spot the typo. Edit 2. There's a second one now. My uncle murdered somebody and is currently serving life in prison. From my earliest memory I knew he had some screws loose. Edit. I was at work when I originally commented so I didn't have time to provide details. He caught his wife at her lover's house so he shot the guy. He was going to shoot her too but she convinced him she wouldn't tell anyone. He burned the guy's house down in an attempt to cover his tracks. As soon as his wife could get free of him she immediately reported him. As far as me saying I always got creep vibes from him. He always reminded me of a poor Mons Charles Manson. Obligatory didn't know him as a friend. But a regular customer in my shop. He would come in after his shift to buy beer and tobacco. On one occasion he caught and helped us to evict a shoplifter. He seemed friendly enough. Then a local girl went missing and was eventually pulled out of a river a few weeks later. They announced they were looking for somebody in connection with her death and it was him. They had CCTV footage of him tailing her through a park and footage of him buying beer in a shop. Still unconfirmed to this day being our shop as they blurred out the surroundings. Anyway. As we had a TV in our shop switched to the news channel as it was a rolling story local to us. We started to discuss the guy. If we saw him on the day she went missing. That kind of thing. We hadn't. But it was at that point when one of my staff. A young girl. Who had previously said to management that she didn't want to work the closing shift anymore because there was too many creepy men around. Told us that he used to stare at her when he came into the store in a way that made her uncomfortable enough to not want to be on the floor when he came in. They never got to question him about the murder as he was found dead in a local park a few days later. He'd hung himself. I knew this kid my entire life. We were friends in elementary and middle school, more middle school. He was your typical redneck kid but a kind person. Imagine if Pinky from Pinky and the Brain grew up in the rural south. Well as people do in school we drifted apart. He honestly wasn't the person in the group I was friends with he was just in that circle. So we went about out lives. A year after we graduated in the same town we all grew up and he killed his entire family. Mother. Brother. Stepsister. Father. Just for no reason. Nothing really provoked him from my understanding. He left and went to ride ADVs with his friend later that day. They caught him and he had no memory of it. He went to court and got life and never could recount a single moment, at least he said. It was weird seeing this kid who was to your knowledge just dumber than a bag of hammers yet a odd innocence to him. On trail for such atrocities. He just sat stone faced the entire time. Almost like he didn't understand what had happened. Not to say I felt bad for him but I felt something. Sadness perhaps. Had a friend who, for some reason unknown, stopped taking his medication. I think it was for bipolar schizophrenia? Anyways. He ended up stabbing his mom and little sister to death and drinking their blood. Later. After he had been arrested. They found him eating and drinking his own feces and fluids babbling about how their menstrual blood sustained him. He got back on medication. And the state said he was mentally fit for trial and they convicted him. I don't even remember for how long. I thought the entire situation was wrong. It's kind of crazy how one month you know someone and they're just normal. Laughing. And living their life and the next they're doing something terrible. Edit. 
looked him up to find the details. He was sentenced to 80 years in prison. He used a carving knife and a fork in the murder. And his sister was only 6 years old. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.